Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma and this is the Mary Santa crochet along and this is part three. So in part two we got this far here so you can compare our Santas. Let me shove this stuff out of the way. So this is where you should be now. And for part three we're going to go ahead and work on his hat. We're going to do this little holly leaves and berry. We're going to add his eyes and go ahead and put his little belt on. Now his hat is really, really tall. I have this pinned down with the straight pin. I'm going to see where my pin is. Pull my pin out and just show you how long his hat really is. It was just hard to videotape him. So this is actually his hat. It's quite long. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm just going to set him aside and I'll go over the material list for today. You're going to need your red heart or whatever yarn you chose. And for today's for the hat, we're going to need the cherry red for the hat. We're going to need your white for the popcorn trim. You're going to need your spring green for the leaves. And then we're going to need a little bit of black for his eyes and some yellow for his belt buckle. Let me set him aside. I'm going to grab my hook. You're going to need a size I9 5.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to go ahead and attach my red. So we're going to start with our cherry red and I'm just going to tie a double knot like I always do around my hook. Now you can choose whatever method you prefer. We're going to begin with a chain two. Yarn over, pull through, that's one. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Round one, we're going to work six single crochet in the second chain from hook. And we're not going to join, so you are going to need a stitch marker or a small piece of yarn. Now I use a small piece of yarn. You can use whatever method you prefer. So skip the first chain Insert your hook into that second chain from hook and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same chain. Work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into that same chain. Work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into that same chain. Work a single crochet. That's four. Insert into that same chain, work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into that same chain and work a single crochet, and that's six. So you can count back one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook into that first stitch of round one, and then we're going to work two rounds of one single crochet in each of the single crochet around. So we'll be working six single crochet in round two and six single crochet in round three. So I inserted my hook in that first stitch and I'm going to work one single crochet. I'm just going to pull my hook out and I'm going to pull a small piece of yarn through and mark that first stitch. So let me just pull that through real quick. And then I'm going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. Now because there's only six stitches, I'm going to go ahead and work the first several rounds right with you stitch for stitch. So insert into that next stitch. And again, with new crocheters, when you're making this, your stitches are really going to pull to the right. So this looks like it's a, the next stitch, but it really isn't. Your stitch is in there, but it's just pulling to the right because we're working in rounds and we're, we want it to form a dome. So it's really going to pull real hard to the right. So skip that stitch. And even though we are ex more experienced crocheters, you have to remember that when new crocheters are trying to learn how to crochet, little things like this can really confuse them. It just seems simple to us, but some things like this, if they've never worked in a round, can be a little confusing. Okay, so we're going to jump over to this next stitch, 
insert your hook and work a single crochet. That's two. And again, you can see how your stitch is clear to the right. You're going to skip the rest of that stitch you worked in and you're going to jump over to that next stitch. Insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet. That's three. You're going to insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's four. And this is going to want to turn wrong side out. So when I'm working, I'm constantly trying to turn it right side out because I like to make sure I'm still working on the right side of my work. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. I believe that's five. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet and that's six. So that's the end of round two and we're just going to go ahead and repeat that one more time. You're going to insert your hook into that beginning stitch that you marked with your stitch marker and you're going to work one single crochet. I'm going to take my hook out, I'm going to insert it into that beginning stitch, grab my little piece of yarn and pull it through and mark that first stitch. Now we're just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet, that's three. I'm turning it right side out as I go. And this gets easier when you get more stitches in the hat. This little tip of the hat is just a little bit of a pain. Insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet. I lost my stitch count because I was talking. One, two, three, four. Insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five. And then we're over to our last stitch, insert into that last stitch, and work a single crochet. So now we're over at the end of round three you should have a total of six single crochet around the little tip of your hat and this is what it looks like. I'm trying to turn it to see the best view there. It kind of looks like a little thumb warmer, fingertip warmer. Okay, so now we're going to begin round four and round four we're going to increase by three stitches. Very simple to increase. So we're going to go ahead and work one single crochet in that beginning single crochet. So insert your hook into that beginning stitch where your stitch marker is and work a single crochet. I'm just going to take my hook out, pull it through that stitch and pull my little piece of yarn up. We're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert, work a second single crochet. That's two. We just made our first increase. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to insert our hook into the next stitch and we're going to work two single crochet. There's one. Insert into that same stitch and work your second single crochet. We need to do that one more time. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into your last stitch and you're going to work two single crochet. There's one. Insert into that same stitch and work your second single crochet. So now we increase by three stitches, so we should have a total of nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now we're going to work three rounds. We're going to work rounds five, six, and seven, and we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around for nine single crochet and we're going to repeat that and do three rows of one single crochet in each stitch around. So each round will be nine stitches. 
So this is what you're going to do. You're going to start each round the same. You're going to insert into that beginning stitch and you're going to work one single crochet. I'm just going to pull my hook out and move my stitch marker up to that beginning stitch and then you're just going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around until you worked nine total single crochet around your hat. When you get over to the end you should have a total of nine stitches and then you're going to repeat that two more times. So you're doing three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of round seven so if you lose count of your rounds when you're looking at your work you can see a kind of a little line between the stitches as you're working up your hat so this is round one two three four we just started round five so when you count this up, count to the left side of your stitch marker and you should have a total of seven rounds when you're finished. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven and if you count up you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's how you count your rounds and you should have nine single crochet stitches going around the top of the hat. Actually, we're making this hat upside down, so this is actually towards the bottom, but you know what I meant. Okay, so now for round eight, we're going to increase three more stitches around. So we're going to begin and we're going to work a single crochet in each of the first two single crochet stitches. So insert into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. I'm going to take my hook out grab that piece of yarn and mark my beginning stitch I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch so insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet insert into that same stitch and work a second single crochet and you just have to kind of flatten it out as you go and get your hat in the position you need it to get your hook in those stitches so now we're going to start the repeat again we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches so insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to insert into the next stitch and you're going to work two single crochet. There's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a second single crochet. You just made your increase. Insert into the next stitch and work one single crochet. insert into the next stitch and work one single crochet. We're over to our last stitch and we're going to work two single crochet into that last stitch. Insert into that stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet for two. So round eight is finished you should have a total of 12 single crochet around your round eight. So now we're getting ready to work rounds nine through 11 and nine through 11 is going to be just three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around. You will have a total of 12 single crochet in each round and you will work three rounds. So let's begin round nine. You're going to insert into the top of that beginning stitch and work your first single crochet. You're going to move your stitch marker up to that first stitch and then you're going to continue and work one single crochet in each stitch around 
and you'll have a total of 12 single crochet stitches at the end of the round and then you'll repeat that for two more rounds. So you're going to start and make sure you move that stitch marker up with each round you do. So go ahead and work rounds 9, 10, and 11 and you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of round 11. I'm over at the end of round 11 and again you can start at the bottom and count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and that shows you that you did the correct amount of rounds and you should have a total of 12 single crochet in each round. So now we're going to start round 12 and round 12 we're going to go ahead and do an increase of three stitches in this round. So we're going to go ahead and start and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So insert your hook into that first stitch and work a single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker up, which is very important you remember to do this. Grab my yarn, go ahead and pull it through that first stitch, and then I'm ready to go. We'll pull that up a little bit. I'm going to tighten my yarn, and then we need to single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. We're getting ready to do our increase so we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a second single crochet. And that is your repeat. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch. So insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's one. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's three and then in the next stitch we're going to work two single crochet. Insert into that stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into that same stitch and work a second single crochet. Our increase was made. Insert into the next stitch and single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and single crochet. That's two insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's three, and then in the next stitch we're going to work two single crochet. Insert into that last stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into that same last stitch and work a second single crochet. You should now have a total of 15 stitches around your top of your round. So now for rounds 13, 14, and 15, we're just going to repeat and work one single crochet in each stitch around, and we're going to do that for three rounds. So you're just going to work even. So we're going to insert into the first stitch, and this is how you're going to start each of the next three rounds. Insert into the top of that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. I'm just going to move my stitch marker up, grab that marker and move it to the beginning stitch. And then I'm just going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. And each round you will have a total of 15 single crochet. When you come to this last stitch, you're going to start all over again, work that first single crochet, move your stitch marker up, and then work one single crochet in each stitch around. So again, you're going to work rounds 13, 14, and 15. That's three more rounds, and you're working one single crochet in each stitch around with 15 stitches in each round.
So go ahead and work those three rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 15. I'm over at the end of round 15 and you should have a total of 15 single crochet around. So now we're going to begin round 16 and we're going to go ahead and increase by three more stitches. So we're going to start right away with the repeat. We're going to insert our hook into that first beginning single crochet and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the first four single crochet. So I'm going to single crochet into that beginning single crochet. I'm going to pull my hook out and I'm going to pull my stitch marker through because I always want to mark that beginning of my round. And I'm going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. That's two of the four. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's three of the four. And then we're going to insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, and that is the four of the four where we worked one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. Now we're going to do our increase. We're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet and that's two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each of the next four stitches and then you're going to work two single crochet into the fifth stitch and you're going to repeat that around. So go ahead and do that repeat and I will meet you at the end of round 16. I'm at the end of round 16 and now you should have a total of 18 single crochet around. We did an increase of three single crochet. So you should have a total of 18 single crochet. So now we're going to work rounds 17 and 18 and we're just going to work one single crochet in each single crochet around. So insert into that beginning stitch where your stitch marker is, work your first single crochet. I'm going to remove my hook and move that stitch marker up to that first stitch. And then I'm going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. When I get to the end of the round you should have 18 single crochet and then you're going to work a second round exactly the same as this round working one single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and work rounds 17 and rounds 18 and you're working one single crochet in each stitch around and you'll have 18 single crochet in each round and I will meet you at the end of round 18. So I'm over at the end of round 18 and you should have a total of 18 single crochet around. Now from now on in this video I'm just going to go ahead and do the first repeat with you and let you finish around. This is a very simple basic single crochet stitch pattern so I don't want the video to be three hours long so I'm just going to do it in a condensed version so I hope that's okay with everybody since it's such a simple pattern. So now for round 19 we're going to begin and our repeat will be we're going to single crochet in each of the first five stitches and then we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch so that will be your repeat and we'll be increasing our round by three stitches. So insert into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. I'm going to pull my hook out, grab that stitch marker, make sure you move your stitch marker up to that next round. So that's one single crochet of five insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's three, and I'm just turning as I go and working myself around, 
insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's four, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five. Now we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch and that is where we add one extra stitch for our increase. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. You're going to insert your hook into that same stitch and work a single crochet for two. That's the end of your repeat. So go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each of the next five stitches and then you're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. You'll end with two single crochet into this last stitch and you should have a total of 21 single crochet at the end of round 19. So go ahead and repeat that around. I'll meet you at the end of round 19. I'm over at the end of round 19 and you should have a total of 21 single crochet around. So we're getting ready to start round 20 and round 20 we're going to increase by another three stitches around. So our repeat for round 20 will be we are going to single crochet, one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Then we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch and that will be your repeat around. So let's begin. Insert your hook into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Go ahead and pull that stitch marker up to that next round that we're working on here. It's hiding from me. I'm going to tighten my loop. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next stitch work a single crochet, that's three, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's four, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's six. Two, four, six. Now we're going to make our increase and we're going to work two single crochet into this next stitch. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a second single crochet. And that is your repeat. So go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each of the next six stitches and then work two single crochet into the next stitch. When you end, you will end with two single crochet into this last stitch when you're over at the end of your round and you should have a total of 24 single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round 20. I'm over at the end of round 20 and you can see how it's gradually getting larger and the openings getting in bigger and bigger each time we increase. So now we're going to work rounds 21 and 22 and each round we will work one single crochet in each single crochet around. So for round 21 you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch. You'll have a total of 24 single crochet and then you're going to work a second round of one single crochet in each stitch and you'll also have a total of 24 single crochet around. So insert into the top of that beginning stitch, work your single crochet, pull that stitch marker up to that beginning stitch, and then just continue working one single crochet in each stitch around and you're going to do that for both rounds 21 and 22. Work one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 22. I'm over at the end of round 22 and you should have a total of 24 single crochet around. So now we're getting ready to start round 23. Round 23 we're going to increase by four stitches. So our repeat will be we're going to single crochet in each of the first five stitches 
and then we're going to work two single crochet into the next and that will be your repeat around. So insert your hook into that beginning single crochet and work a single crochet. That's one. I'm going to pull my hook out, move that stitch marker up. Just make sure you're moving that stitch marker up. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's four. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. And that's five. We're going to make our increase. So we're going to work two single crochet into that next stitch. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet. And that's two. You just made your increase. So go ahead and work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And then two single crochet into the next. That's your repeat. You will end with two single crochet into this last stitch and I will meet you at the end of round 23. I'm over at the end of round 23 and this is what your work should look like. If I flatten it out, you can see how it's taking form and the increases are making it wider. So now we're going to go ahead and work rounds 24, 25, and 26. We're going to work one single crochet in each single crochet around and we're going to do that for three rounds. So let's begin, insert into that beginning stitch, work your first single crochet, move that stitch marker up into that first stitch, and then you're just going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. When you get to the end of round 24, you should have a total of 28 single crochet. You're going to repeat working one single crochet in each stitch for rounds 25 and 26, and each round will have a total of 28 stitches. So go ahead and work rounds 24, 25, and 26, working one single crochet in each stitch around. I will meet you at the end of round 26. I'm over at the end of round 26 and you should have a total of 28 single crochet. So now we're getting ready to start round 27 and round 27 we're going to increase by four more stitches. So your repeat will be you're going to single crochet in each of the next six stitches and then you will work two single crochet into the next stitch and you'll repeat that around. So let's begin. Insert into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. I'm going to move my stitch marker up to that first stitch. Tighten my loop. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next stitch work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's six. Now we're going to make our increase. We're going to work two single crochet into this next stitch insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet and that's two. Your increase is made. Your repeat is finished. So you're going to go ahead and work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches and then you will work two single crochet into the next stitch. When you get to the end of your round, you will end with two single crochet into that last stitch, and you'll have a total of 32 single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around, and I will meet you at the end of round 27. 
I'm over at the end of round 27 and now we're going to work rounds 28, 29, and 30 and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around and each round will have 32 single crochet. So let's begin, insert into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. I'm going to pull out my hook, bring that stitch marker up into that first stitch. I'm going to tighten my loop and then I'm going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. When I get to the end of round 28, I will have a total of 32 single crochet. So you're going to work rounds 28, 29, and 30, working one single crochet in each stitch around, and I will meet you at the end of round 30. I'm over at the end of round 30, and this is what your hat should look like. You can see it's getting longer and wider. So we're getting ready to start round 31, and round 31 we're going to increase by four more stitches. So we're going to do the repeat of one single crochet in each of the next seven single crochet, and then two single crochet into the next. You'll repeat that around and you will end with 36 single crochet, ending with two single crochet into your last stitch. So let's begin, insert into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. You're going to pull that stitch marker up into that first stitch and mark that beginning of that round. And then I'm just going to go ahead, tighten up my loop, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next stitch work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's six. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's seven. So that's two, four, six, seven single crochet we made. And now we're going to do our increase. We're going to work two single crochet into this next stitch, insert into that next stitch, and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet. And that's two. That's the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches and then work two single crochet into the next. When you get to the end of the round you will end with two single crochet into your last stitch and you will have a total of 36 single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round 31. I'm over at the end of round 31 and you can see our hat is definitely getting longer and it's getting wider. So you should have a total of 36 single crochet around your hat and now we're getting ready to start round 32. I'm going to zoom up a little bit. Now for round 32 we're going to increase by six stitches. So your repeat will be you're going to single crochet one single crochet in each of the next five single crochet and then we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. So let's begin. Insert your hook into that first stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to go ahead and pull that stitch marker up and mark that first stitch. Tighten my loop insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's three, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's four, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five, and then we're going to increase in the next stitch and we're going to work two single crochet in this next stitch insert into that stitch and work a single crochet. 
that's one, insert into that same stitch, work a single crochet, and that's two. So your repeat will be work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches, and then two single crochet into the next. When you get to the end of your round, you will work two single crochet into that last stitch, that's what you end with, and you should have a total of 42 single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round 32. I'm over at the end of round 32, and you should have a total of 42 single crochet stitches around. So now we're going to work rounds 33 and 34, and those rounds we're just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So insert your hook into that beginning stitch, work a single crochet, bring that stitch marker up to that first stitch. Always make sure you bring that up to the next round and then you're going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. So for rounds 33 and 34, go ahead and work one single crochet in each stitch around. You'll do that for two rounds. I will meet you at the end of round 34. I'm over at the end of round 34 and you can see his hat is continuing to be really long and we want it that way. So now we're going to start round 35 and with round 35 we're going to increase 6 stitches. So our repeat will be you're going to single crochet in each of the next 6 stitches and then 2 single crochet into the next stitch and that will be our repeat and we'll end up with 48 single crochet when we finish the round. So let's begin. Insert into that beginning stitch where your stitch marker is and work a single crochet. You're going to pull that stitch marker up or just move it if you're using a traditional stitch marker, just move it up to that beginning stitch. So we made one single crochet, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's three, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's four, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's five, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's six, and now we're going to work our increase by working two single crochet into this next stitch. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet for two. That's it. That's your repeat. You're just going to repeat that around. You're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six single crochet and then you will work two single crochet into the next single crochet. When you get to the end of your round, you should be ending with two single crochet into this last stitch here. So go ahead and work that around, and I will meet you at the end of round 35. I'm at the end of round 35, and you should have a total of 48 single crochet stitches. So now for round 36, we're just going to do a simple round of one single crochet in each stitch around. So insert into that beginning stitch, work a single crochet, then pull that stitch marker up to that first stitch. I'm going to tighten my loop, and then I'm just going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around and when you get to the end of the round you should have a total of 48 single crochet. So go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of round 36. So I'm over at the end of round 36 and you should have a total of 48 single crochet. 
we're getting ready to start round 37 and in round 37 we're going to increase by six stitches so our repeat will be we are going to single crochet in each of the next seven stitches and then work two single crochet into the next stitch for our increase when you're at the end of round 37 you should have 54 single crochet so let's begin insert into that beginning stitch where your stitch marker is and work that first single crochet I'm going to move my stitch marker up into that first stitch tighten my loop insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's two insert into the next stitch work a single crochet that's three insert into the next stitch work a single crochet that's four insert into the next stitch work a single crochet for five insert into the next stitch work a single crochet that's six insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet for seven now we're going to make our increase and we're going to work two single crochet into this next stitch insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet that's one insert into that same stitch and work a second single crochet that's your repeat that's all there is to it you're just going to repeat that around so go ahead and work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches and then you're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch repeat that around you will end with two single crochet into this last stitch when you get to the end and you should have a total of 54 single crochet so go ahead and repeat that and I will meet you at the end of round 37 I'm over at the end of round 37 and this is what your hat should look like and we have one round of red to go and then we change and make our trim in white and our hat will be done so just a few more rounds so we're getting ready to start round 38 just let me zoom up in here and this is going to be a quick and easy round we're going to go ahead and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around so insert into that beginning stitch and work a single crochet I'm going to pull my hook out I'm going to grab my piece of yarn I'm using as my stitch marker I'm going to pull it through that first stitch I'm going to tighten up my yarn and then I'm just going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around so go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each stitch around I'll meet you at the end of round 38 and show you how to join. So I'm over at the end of round 38. You should have a total of 54 stitches and now we're going to fasten off our red. I'm just going to insert my hook into that beginning single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on my hook. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off and then we're going to get ready we need our white next and we're going to work three rounds of white I'm over at the end of round 38 and this is what your hat should look like so now we're getting ready and we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the white part of our hat and finish it off so let's begin with round 39 and you're going to need your white and I leave about a three or four inch length let me zoom back up we're going to just pull that new color right through and then what I do is I keep the red right along with that end of the white I hold it right up against my work and I'm going to work my stitches right over top of that and it weaves it right in so we're going to start with the chain one and we're going to single crochet into the same beginning stitch I'm going to pull my hook out bring that stitch marker up actually I don't think I need my stitch marker because of the stitches we're going to use I'll bring it up for this round then I don't think we need it any longer insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet insert into the next stitch 
you're going to go underneath those ends, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and what happens is when you're making that single crochet, it's working right over those ends and weaving them in. So go ahead and work one single crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of round 39 and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round 39 and we're going to go ahead and join with the slip stitch in the top of this beginning single crochet. Insert your hook under the top two loops of that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're getting ready to work our popcorn stitch row and this popcorn stitch will be made with only four double crochet instead of five. So we're going to begin by making our first double crochet which will be a chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to work three more double crochet all in the same beginning stitch. Yarn over, insert into that stitch and work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same beginning stitch, and work a double crochet. This is classified as the third. The chain three is one, two, three. We need to make four double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and work that fourth double crochet. You're going to pull your hook up, take your hook out, and you're going to come over to the top of this beginning chain three, insert your hook into the top of that chain. I kind of like bend my stitches up. I insert into that loop that we drop, tighten my loop, pinch those stitches together, pull through, and chain one to secure. And then we skip this next stitch and that's our repeat. So let's do it a couple more times. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip that single crochet right after the popcorn stitch. Insert into the next stitch and work four double crochet. There's one. Yarn over. Insert into the same stitch. There's two. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and work a third double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and work your fourth double crochet. Going to take your hook out. You're going to count back one, two, three, four to that first double crochet of the four double crochet group. Insert your hook from front to back. Come over, insert it into that loop. Tighten up. I pinch my stitches together and pull through. You're going to chain one to secure. You're going to skip the next stitch. That is the repeat. So yarn over. We're going into that next stitch. We already skipped one, so go into the very next stitch and you're going to work four double crochet. There's one. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch and work a second double crochet yarn over, insert into that same stitch, work your third double crochet, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, and work your fourth double crochet. You're going to pull up on your hook, you're going to count back four stitches, one, two, three, four, right to that first stitch of the group of four, insert from front to back, insert into your loop, tighten up your loop, pinch those stitches together and pull the hook through. You're going to chain one to secure and then you skip the next stitch. So that's your repeat. So go ahead and this will be your repeat. You're going to skip this next stitch, work a four double crochet popcorn stitch into the next. You're going to chain one to secure and then skip the next stitch. So go ahead and repeat that around. I will meet you at the end of round 40 and when you get to the end of the round 40 you will end with a popcorn stitch in this second stitch from the end so you'll have one single crochet left that you'll skip so go ahead and work around and I will meet you at the end of round 40 
I'm over at the end of round 40 and you should have one stitch remaining that stays unworked and this is what your hat should look like. You should have a total of 27 popcorn stitches around and 27 chain one spaces between them. So now we're just going to go ahead and join. We're going to skip that last single crochet and we're going to come right up and you're going to go right down in the center of that popcorn stitch. Now those four stitches are together pretty tightly. You just want to insert your hook right down through the top center of that popcorn stitch. It's nighttime. I have a glare. I'm going to try to put my fingers there so you can see. I'm going right down through the center top of that first popcorn stitch. Insert from front to back yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So to start round 41, we're going to start with a chain one. You're going to come back and insert right back down in the center of that first beginning popcorn stitch, right down through the top center, out through the back, and work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. You just made your first single crochet. You're going to insert your hook into the space between the two popcorn stitches in this chain one space. Insert in that chain one space and work a single crochet. And that will be your repeat. So let me show you two more times. You're going to insert from the top center of the next popcorn stitch. Here's your popcorn stitch. I have a glare. Let me see if I can turn that light slightly. See if that helps. So here's our next popcorn stitch. Follow it right up to the top. Insert your hook right down through the top center of that stitch and out through the back and work a single crochet. Insert into the space between the popcorn you just worked and the next popcorn in this chain one space and work a single crochet. And that is your repeat. I'll show you one more time. Insert from the top down through the top of that next popcorn stitch, right down through the top center, and out through the back. Work a single crochet. Insert into the space between the popcorn you just worked and the next popcorn stitch in this chain one space, and work a single crochet. That's all there is to our last round. So go ahead and work one single crochet in the top center of the popcorn stitch and one single crochet in between the popcorn stitches. Repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round 41. I'm over at the end of round 41 and you should have a total of 54 single crochet around. And now we're just going to go ahead and join with the slip stitch in the top of our beginning single crochet. So come over and insert your hook under the top two strands of that first single crochet, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now the main part of our hat is finished. Let me zoom out. This is what it should look like. And now we're getting ready and we're going to make the little white ball that goes on the top. And then we will make our trim. So we're going to go ahead and make this little ball here and attach it. And then we'll make our trim and get that sewed on. So when you go to fasten off your white with your hat, now please leave probably at least a 24 inch length you want to make sure you have plenty of yarn to sew this around the head of your Santa. And it's really nice if you just tie it off and leave that long length. Then you just attach your needle and you're ready to go. No trying to attach yarn to get yourself started. So I'm just going to go ahead and... I got myself tangled up here. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off my work. And then I'm going to come back and we'll get the little ball made for the end of his hat. So I'll be right back. I'm back and we're getting ready to start the ball of the hat and you're going to need your white. Now I already attached my yarn to my hook and you can use whatever method you prefer. We're going to begin with a chain two. Yarn over, pull through, that's one. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. 
round one, we're going to work seven single crochet into the second chain from hook. So we're going to skip the first chain, insert into that second chain from hook, and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same chain, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into that same chain, you'll go right into that same chain, work a single crochet, that's three. We're going right back into the same chain, work a single crochet, that's four. Sometimes I grab my work and I try to pull those stitches over, make room for the rest. It's a little hard to work with when it's this small, but as you work the stitches you can see your hole gets a little bit bigger. Insert into that same chain and work a single crochet. I lost my count, so I'm going to count backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Insert into that same chain work a single crochet, that's six. One more to go. Insert into that same chain and work a single crochet for seven. And then you can always double count your stitch count in the first round and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm just going to grab a small piece of yarn. We're not going to join, we're just going to mark each round. So now round two, we're going to work two single crochet in each stitch around. We have seven stitches, so we'll end up with 14 single crochet. So insert your hook into that first single crochet. You're going to go under the top two loops. I need a little help here because I got a little bit tight on this. My fingernails broke. So you're going to insert under those top two strands and work a single crochet. I'm going to pull my hook out and I'm going to put a small piece of yarn in there just as my stitch marker. You can just use a traditional stitch marker if you wish. And then I'm just going to tighten my loop up. We're going to insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet. So we work two single crochet into that first stitch. Now we're going to insert into the next single crochet and we're going to work two single crochet. There's one. Insert back into that same stitch and work a second single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work two single crochet. There's one. Insert into the same stitch and work a second single crochet. I'm going to work right around with you since it's only a few stitches. Insert into the next stitch and we're going to work two single crochet. Insert into that next stitch and work two single crochet. Insert into that next stitch and work two single crochet. We're over to our last stitch. So insert into that last stitch and work two single crochet. So when you are done with round two, you should have a total of 14 single crochet around. So now for rounds three and four, we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So for round three, you will work one single crochet in each stitch and have 14 single crochet. And then you'll do it again in round four and you'll work one single crochet in each stitch around and you will have 14 single crochet. So let's begin. You'll start each round by inserting into that beginning stitch and working a single crochet. You're going to move that stitch marker up into that first beginning stitch 
and then you will continue working one single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and work rounds three and four working one single crochet in each stitch around for two rounds and I will meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four and this is what your work should look like. It's going to start looking like a little bowl and it's going to be wrong side out. So what you need to do is you need to turn it right side out. Just push that out so the right side of your work is out. So now we're going to work round five which is our final round and we're going to decrease seven stitches around. We're going to close up this little ball and turn it into a ball. So we're going to be decreasing seven stitches. We're going to single crochet two together seven times around. So we're going to insert our hook into that beginning stitch. Insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, and pull it through. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just single crochet two together, and we decrease by one stitch. I'm going to pull my stitch marker through and mark that first stitch and then we're going to repeat that around insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through find your next stitch insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two decreases made I'll show you one more time you're going to find your next stitch. You already worked in this one, so you're jumping clear over here. Insert into that next stitch, yarn over, pull it through. Turn your work and find your next stitch. Insert into that next stitch, yarn over, and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So go ahead and finish working that around your little ball and I will meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five and your right side should be facing out and you should have a total of seven stitches around. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to join and we're going to join with a slip stitch into this beginning stitch. So insert your hook into that beginning stitch where your stitch marker is, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now I'm going to just pull my stitch marker out, because we no longer need that, and then I'm going to fasten off my work, and make sure you leave a sewing length. I'll leave probably a foot and a half, and I'm just going to fasten off. I pull that down and make my knot. And then you'll notice we have this little hole in the end of our ball. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of stuffing. And I'm just going to place some stuffing in the ball of the hat to make it nice and round and look nice. I got too much I can put that back okay so I stuffed that all in my little ball my hat and then you want to get your yarn needle and take that sewing length that you have and thread that through your yarn needle and then we're just going to take our needle stuff that down in there if you can and try to pinch it a little so it don't pop back out and we're just going to weave in and out of those seven stitches. So you just weave in and out until you get back around to the front of your ball and then you pull tight and it closes up that ball. And then what I usually do is I just stitch across once one way and then I go across the other way 
just to close up that opening and you're coming from both sides and then I tighten it up. So you have a nice little ball. Whoops. <laughs> so there's our ball. So let me grab my hat and we're just going to take this ball and we're going to butt it right up to the end of the hat like so and you're just going to sew it to the hat. So what I usually do is I just take my needle and put through first, bring it out the other side and I just bring it across the bottom of the ball and pull and then it puts it into place. And then just go ahead and add a couple more stitches, attach that to the end of the hat to where you feel it's comfortable and secure. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. So I sewed the ball onto my hat. Let me zoom out. So now our hat is finished except for our little holly leaves and our berry. So grab your green, grab your hook, and I'll be right back and we'll get those made and attached. And then all we have to do is sew on our hat, put on our eyes and our buckle, and he'll be done. So let's get started on those leaves and berries and finish this guy up. So I'm back and we're getting ready to make our holly leaves. Now we're going to need to make two. So I'm going to show you how to make one and then you'll just click back on the video to make your second leaf. So these are pretty simple. We're just going to start in chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to skip the first two chain and we're going to slip stitch into this third chain from hook. So skip the first two chain, come down into that third chain and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. This is the top of our little leaf. We're going to single crochet into the next chain. So find that next chain, insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to come down into the top front loop. You're going to go from the top to the bottom through that front loop and you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that front loop and pull it through the loop on your hook. That's the point of our first little point on our leaf. So this is the top and that's the side. So we're going to do that one more time. You're going to find the next chain, insert into that next chain, and work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to take your hook and you're going to come back and go from top to bottom through that front loop and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that front loop and pull it through the loop on your hook. So now your side of your leaf is finished and we're going to go ahead and work around the bottom. So now we're going to go ahead and work four half double crochet into this last chain. So yarn over the hook, insert into that last chain, yarn over the hook, pull it back through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's your first half double crochet. We need to make three more, which is going to take us right around the bottom and start going over around the other side. So yarn over, insert into that same last chain and work a half double crochet. That's two, and you can kind of turn your work as you're going. Yarn over, insert into that same last chain, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same chain that you worked all the other half double crochets, and work a half double crochet, and that's four. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to come down into the front loop from the top to the bottom, right through that front loop of that last half double crochet made, and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, 
pull through that front loop and pull through the loop on our hook. And what we're doing is we're just coming around and repeating what we did on this side. So now working on the bottom of the foundation chain, we're going to single crochet into that next chain. So we worked in this one, we want to come up to this chain. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to come down from top to bottom through the front loop of that single crochet and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through the front loop, and pull through the loop on the hook. We're going to skip the remaining chains, and you're going to come up and you'll see your beginning chain three loop, and we're going to slip stitch right underneath this loop in the same spot that you made your first beginning slip stitch. So I'm trying to hold this so you can see. Here's your loop. Come right to the base of that chain three loop. Insert your hook and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And that's what your little holly leaf will look like. So now I'm going to fasten off and make sure you leave a sewing length. It's better to be too long than too short. I'm just going to fasten off. And then you're going to want to take your yarn needle and you want to weave this in kind of around the back of your work in those stitches to secure that and then trim this off. So go ahead and make one more leaf. I'm going to go ahead and make mine. Just click back on the video. You need a total of two leaves and then we'll be back. We'll make our berry and then we'll get these sewed onto his hat. So my two leaves are finished. So I'm going to set these aside. We're going to make our berry next. So grab your red and we'll be right back and we'll get that little berry started. I'm back and I have my red attached to my hook and we're getting ready to make our berry. So we're going to begin with the chain two. So yarn over, pull through, that's one. Yarn over, pull through, that's two and we're going to work five single crochet into the second chain from hook. So skip the first chain, insert into that second chain from hook, and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into that same chain, work a single crochet, that's two insert into that same chain and you'll probably have to be turning this as you're working. Work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into that same chain. Work a single crochet. That's four. And you can see your little hole right there. You're just going to insert back into that same chain. Work a single crochet and that's five. So now you're going to fasten off and leave about 12 inches, maybe a little more, just so you have a nice length. I'm just going to fasten off, pull my yarn through, tie that knot, and I'm just going to trim this. I, I'm not going to weave it in because it's not, it's just going to be behind the work. So I'm going to take my yarn needle and take that sewing length that's left over that we fastened off, thread it through our needle. And you're going to take right side facing and you're just going to weave it right through those stitches until you go around. And make sure it doesn't want to pull to the wrong side. You want to make sure it keeps pulling it to the right side. So you may have to push it down I'm just going to go in and out, weaving through my stitches, and when you go to pull this tight, it will want to go the wrong way. Okay, I'm over to the end, so I'm going to just automatically bend that down with my fingers and try to help form its shape, and you're just going to pull tight, and you can see how it forms the berry. Now my one stitch here is a little loose, so I'll see if I can tighten that up. So our little berry is formed. 
I'm not sure if I can get that tightened up the stitch here. You want that tight to really look like a nice berry. So I might just see if I can stick my yarn needle in through there and pull that tight. I'm going to go across and just see if I can tighten that up. So if you have the same thing happen, let me just pull that tight. Yeah, that looks better. See how it just looks like a little berry and you can see just a little bit of a hole in the top. That's what you want it to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my hat and then I'll show you where the placement should be and we can get them sewed on. So I have my hat and you should have your sewing length where you fastened off with all that yarn to sew your hat on. So you know that where you fastened off will be where your back seam should be. And you can kind of see how it wobbles just a little bit on the back side. You want to make sure this is on the back of, of the hat. So you want the joining seams to be in the back and turn your hat so the, the seam is on the back. And just lay your hat down like that. Now when you're sewing these on, make sure you're only going through this top layer. Now I'm folding mine flat down to show you, but make sure you don't go through both thicknesses because then you'll end up having to remake your pieces when you try to cut them back off. So it may help like if you take a piece of paper if you're sewing and stick in there that way when you're sewing up and down through your stitches it's not going into your other piece that paper will protect it so try to like shove a piece of paper in there to protect yourself okay so the hat's laying like this and you're just going to take your leaves now I try to put mine like this so they're just a little cockeyed and sideways of each other so I'm just going to lay my leaves now remember where you fastened off, this is the top of the, of the leaf. So you'll have two little loops on the sides and one on top. And you just want to bring them down close to the white. You want them to touch right on that white. And you're going to lay them right probably about so. Just so you have about just a little space on the side. And then you're going to bring the other leaf over and you just want to lay them out so they're kind of like a little sideways of each other, like, like a V. I know you can't see it, but here's the top, and then it goes down, and then it comes back up. So a little V. So you're going to go ahead and sew them on. And once you get your leaves sewed on, then come back with your little berry. And you're going to stick your little berry right at the base of those leaves. So you can kind of adjust this before you sew like once you put the berry if you don't like the leaves then move your leaves around before you actually sew them so once you get them in place you can always just stick a pin in there just take a straight pin or something and just go like that to hold hold them in place and then that way they won't move and then when you get your first couple stitches done then you can go ahead and take that needle back out so just arrange them so it forms like a V with the stitches stick that little berry once you get your leaves put on then add that right to the bottom center of your leaves and when you get them done now I sewed I just sewed right down through the center because I wanted these leaves to be able to pop up. I didn't sew around the edges. I just come up through the center. So it's up to you how you want to sew your leaves on. This just gives it a little bit dimension, dimension and it's not laying flat and distorted. It just, it just gives it a little bit nicer look, I think, if you just sew right up through the middle. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to sew mine on, and then all we have to do is sew our hat on, put his eyes on, and his belt buckle. So I'll be back when I get my leaves and berries sewed on. I'm back, and I sewed my little holly berries and my little berry to the hat. Now, I was going to sew this on his head, but I thought it might be better to put his eyes on first because you don't have much room, and if you get your hat down too far, then you won't have room for your eyes. So we'll go ahead and put his eyes on next before we attach the hat. So you're going to need your yarn needle, and you're going to need some black yarn. I think I made mine just a little too long. I'm going to cut some off. 
and we're going to try to judge where to put his eyes. Now if you look at this Santa, you'll see they're just on each side of his nose. So if you take the width of his nose here and just come right out to the end side of his nose, we'll give you a rough idea of where you might want to place your eyes. Now you can place them wherever you want if you want them a little smaller, if you want them farther apart, it's up to you, but this is what I used as a guide. So I'm going to take my Santa, I have my yarn needle, and I'm going to judge it by right here. I want to leave, at least try to leave one round of pink above the mustache. So if you take his mustache, so I'm going to start my eye up here. So I'm going to go in these two rounds here. Let me see if I can do this on camera. It's a little awkward. So there's my round, so I want to go up here. And what I do is I just come down and I do straight stitches. Now I'm going to keep a long length here. And then what I'm going to do is after I get my eye sewed on, and they're just straight stitches, I'm just going to go up and down several times to create that eye. And then after I get the eye made, then I'm going to take the Santa off of his toilet paper roll and I'll probably have to take the stuffing out. Uh, I'll just show you. Let me just hurry up and get his eye made. It's a lot easier than trying to towel you. I think one more would be fine. Whoops, I just split the yarn. There we go. So there's his eye. I think that's pretty good. It's right on the side of his nose. I think I'm going to do it one more time. Make it just a nice little bit thicker. There we go. I think that's good. That's better. Okay, so I have my yarns like this. I'm going to leave my yarn needle on my yarn. And all I'm going to do is just take my toilet paper out. Take my stuffing out. I'm going to take my yarn needle... I'm going to come back up on top and drop it down through. And then I'm going to pull my yarn through the bottom, take my yarn needle off my yarn. I'm going to go back and grab this piece of yarn. And all I'm doing is taking the ends and taking them down inside the wrong side of my Santa. And you can see there's his eye. But what I'm going to do is then I'm going to push this down. And then I'm going to tie it on the wrong side in a knot. And that secures your eye. That way if you have to wash your Santa, the eyes won't come off. And then you can weave those ends in. So there's his eye. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put him back on the toilet paper to weave his eye in just so I know I have it in the right spot. And then I'll do the process all over again of weaving that underneath and tying it. So go ahead and put your eyes on and then we'll get his hat sewed on. So now I have Santa's eyes on his face and they don't look too bad. They're about where they need to be. You can see that there's one round between his mustache so just this one's a little his mustache comes up a little high but that's about where you want him because you need some of that space here for his hat so i have my hat and i attached my needle to that sewing length that we left when we fastened off so you're going to need a little bit of stuffing because we don't want to stuff this part because we want this to be able to hang over like so so it might be best to bend your hat bend your hat where you want it and then we're just going to put a little fiber fill stuffing in this part to keep its shape so let me grab my stuffing just gonna stick some up in there not a lot just enough to like you know fill that bottom part so that still hangs over just don't stuff this only stuff this part here and then you're going to place the hat on his head 
and I'm going to keep it the same way I did on this one off to the left now you can choose to put it right in the middle if you wish I think it looks a little better off to the side so what you have to do for putting the hat on is you're going to angle it you're going to set it right above the eyes and then you're going to have to pull the hat down and I attach it right at the top of the hair going around because I want to cover this so the best thing to do is maybe pin it in place once you get it where you want it and it's going to be up one top and then you're going to angle it down and you're going to cover the top part of the hair in the back so when you're coming down make sure that this overlaps this edge right here and then you can keep it even with the top of the head around and just keep it so it covers this and you come back around and then just sew all the way around but make sure the hat when you're here in front you keep it up just a little bit above those eyes so I'm going to go ahead and just stitch my hat on just use a regular straight stitch and just stitch it right along the base of the hat right through the top of the Santa and I'll sew mine on and I'll be right back and the only thing we have left to do is just put this little buckle on so it's coming along so let's get to it and I'll be right back so my Santa's hat is sewed on and all we have to do now is put the buckle on our Santa so I have my Santa laying here I had him on and off so much that now I'm having trouble you know keeping him down here where he's supposed to be so what I'm going to do is figure out my starting point. I'm just going to try to center it with my nose and I'm going to take my needle underneath my Santa and I'm going to come up right where I think I want to be, which I believe it would be about there. Just judge for yourself. I'm going to come up here, but I'm going to leave a length underneath because this is where I'm going to tie my beginning end and my ending end, and then you can clip it off and weave it in the back. So I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, about five of the red stitches, which would be about four of the black. Just kind of center it and make one long stitch across and then you're going to come from the top back over and go back down where you work that and come right back out the other end so that's our first part of our belt and you can pull it just a little snug there that looks really good and then you're going to go from the top down you just want to come right over the black and we're going to be working underneath the black here of the belt so I'm just coming down just to where that black is just a short stitch you're going over the top underneath back to where you started and you're going to do that twice you're going to come back over you're going to go down but you're not going to come back up you're going to run this needle all the way over and underneath where that began so you're going to go underneath just kind of straighten this up a little bit and then you're going to bring your yarn from this side back over here and again these are just long straight stitches go down underneath underneath the bottom back across you're going to do it again you're going to go from the top down underneath and back up here and again you can use your yarn needle and just move this around in place so it looks nice and then I'm just going to go from the bottom to the top move or maneuver him around a little bit and I'm just going to do two short stitches here on this side there's one and two and then I'm just going to take my needle down and bring it back over to about here and I'm just going to catch one stitch underneath somewhere underneath it doesn't matter where anywhere where you can just stick that under one stitch and then pull it through and then what I do is I just go underneath here I'm going to take him off my toilet paper roll you just reach inside and you just tie that 
don't tie it too tight just tie it nice and secure and snug but not real tight and then I just clip that off and then the last thing I need to do is I'm just going to weave this starting thread in from where we actually started our Santa and I'm just going to take my yarn needle right down through that beginning stitch and then all I do is I just weave that in through my stitches on the back I'll just go right down through these stitches and just keep it weaved in and out and I, I like to go through quite a few stitches at least five six or seven stitches if they're available and just run that down just to give it a nice secure weave in there to get it out of the way and then you want to just go inside your Santa you can take the stuffing out and weave in any ends that may be in there and then you're just going to place him back over top of your toilet paper roll and pull them down just form them where you want them to be now when I first made mine I pinned this down and then after a couple days it stays down in place let me zoom out just a little so you can get a better look now this one is finished I hope you enjoyed this tutorial his hat staying down pretty nicely you put them side by side they look almost identical this is our Santa toilet paper cover holder. This was the crochet along part three to finish your Santa. If you didn't see part one and part two, go ahead and go back and review those videos on to how to make this adorable guy. It's just a fun little way to celebrate the holidays. And the bathroom is, I think, one of the rooms that most people forget. And it's really nice when you know, you gotta go in there and you just see these festive little things in the bathroom. It just makes a cheery, happy smile on your face. So thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed our Merry Santa toilet paper covers or whatever you want to use them for. So thanks for stopping by and happy crocheting everyone.